Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to create a pipeline inside Jenkins. So in the previous video, we saw about Jenkins and how we can create a Maven project in Jenkins and how we can trigger the build, right? So in this video, we are going to see how to create a pipeline and what is this pipeline all about. So pipeline is basically like a plugin inside Jenkins. So uh, if you had uh, worked with Jenkins, right? So there are lots of plugins. So you can install plugins and then you can play around with the plugins. Uh, but Pipeline is something like uh, you can create a workflow inside uh, a Jenkins build. So it is something similar to a new job or something, but it you can control that using a Jenkins file, uh, which you can have it in your code base and you can control uh, the workflow based on uh, the code revision. So basically you can control the whole uh, jobs workflow based on your code. So you can have a different build based on your branch. You can do so many things in that. So basically this Jenkins file is uh, written out of this groovy DSL so you can uh, do lots of uh, things with that. So for example this is how a Jenkins file looks like. So you have a pipeline, you have an agent, so we define an agent. Uh, we have different stages in the pipeline so you can define your own stage. So basically we can define our own stage, we can give a different name and we can do whatever steps we want inside okay so this is what we are going to do now so uh, i'll take the same project which we had um, the jenkins example right the junit5 example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a jenkins file so as a part of your code base you have to create this jenkins file and uh, the file name will will be jenkins file so this is how you have to create the file inside your code base so that jenkins pipeline can identify that okay this particular code base is a pipeline enabled one okay so what i am doing is i'm just creating a pipeline uh, we just said agent is any okay and then i have different stages right and the first stage is uh, let's say i'm going to call this uh, compile stage okay i'm just going to give a, give my own name so that we can differentiate with what we did also uh, here since i have maven project so i'm going to give uh, what is the version of um, maven which we are using what is the configuration of maven which we are using right so the name of the maven is uh, if let's say i go to the jenkins build jenkins actually i go to manage jenkins global tool configuration so i have the name of the configuration of the maven build uh, maven configuration which i have done there so maven installation so this is the name i need to give so that in the build it can use that particular maven because we are going to you uh, do something with maven right and this is going to be a step right so i'm going to say steps so if you notice here in the pipeline so that is how it says steps right so i'll just say steps and inside the steps i'll have a maven so we just move this inside okay so inside that i'll put a command sh maven clean compile let's say i'm going to just compile right so as a part of the compile stage i'm just going to say maven clean compile and i don't have anything else so in the next stage i want to do uh, testing stage let's say right so same way i'll just copy the same step right instead of maven clean compile i'll just say maven test okay finally i let's say i want to do a deploy so i'll just say deployment stage right so i'll i'm in this case i'm going to just deploy to the maven artifact so i'm not going to deploy to any uh, repository as such but i'm just going to run maven deploy that is going to deploy my code into the repository okay maven repository which we saw in the previous example right so the my pipeline is set so let's commit this particular pipeline so this particular code is there in the github so i am going to push this code to github and we are going to use the same repository to configure that in the jenkins job and pull the uh, data from the github and then we are going to build it so let me create a new Jenkins job. So 
at this particular stage so I'm going to say pipeline Jenkins example okay so if you noticed previously we created the maven project now we are going to create a pipeline okay you can create multi branch pipeline if you want to uh, trigger the build on different uh, branches but i'm going to use pipeline because we are going to use only one branch which is the master okay and the github repository is jenkins example right yeah so this is the github repository i'm just going to use this to configure it here so here if you notice you have an option called pipeline and you can create the pipeline script here so if you notice here it just says it has a hello world github plus maven automatically these are pre-built uh, pipelines which you can use but i'm going to use the jenkins file so i'm going to say pipeline script from scm and i'm just saying that use the jenkins file okay and scm is nothing but git so I'm going to get give the git repository and the credentials and I'm going to say it is taking from master so I'll just do that that's it so we don't have to do anything else I'm just configure the, configuring the pipeline okay now when I let's say if it is got pushed yeah push is successful now if I build this this should pull the pipeline the Jenkins file basically and it, it will do all the stages which we have defined here okay and let's check that okay if you notice here the first step is just checking out the code base so just what is showing here let me open this in a new tab so that we can track the status as well okay the code is getting checked out the code checkout is successful let's go to the pipeline okay the pipeline shows that this uh, code is checked out in 16 seconds the next stage is the compilation stage it is going on as well yeah compilation is also successful if you notice here yeah compilation is successful and it has moved to the testing phase so these are the stages which we if you notice here these are the names of the stages which we gave here right so the same stage names comes here so uh, you can control the number of stages in a pipeline you can create a number of stages so you can automate the whole build and deployment process itself so based on the master or the develop deploy develop or the feature branch you can run specific tests so you, let's say you want to run integration test you can create an integration testing uh, stage and then you can do that only for a specific branch or something or uh, let's say you want to run an integration test with the database itself like um, uh, like the production database or the uat database or the dev database right so you can also run that specifically for a specific branch uh, using and you can control that using this Jenkins file and this uses Groovy DSL so if you are familiar with Groovy syntaxes so you can write lots of code here you can write echo you can write all the Groovy stuff inside this okay and there are lots of other plugins which you can insert so if you notice with maven is like a pipeline maven plugin so that is why I have used with maven but if you want to uh, know what are all the different um, uh, existing uh, uh, commands which we can use you can go to the plugin and it shows up there directly if you notice here the stage is completed so our build is completed our pipeline is completed if i trigger the build again it will show another line so it, it gets accumulated and you can see that if i refresh it so if you notice here it shows the next pipeline and it shows the different stages as well so this is easier for us to track the whole workflow and we will know where it is failed and you can test your code base phase by phase okay so that is the that is all about pipeline and that is how you configure pipeline so it is it is straightforward you just uh, have to install the pipeline plugin along with that if you are using maven you can you have to install maven integration pipeline plugin and um, if you want any other feature to be used you can use different plugins so in our case we are just going to we are just using the uh, straightforward maven uh, pipeline plugin and also the uh, pipeline plugin okay so that is what we are using maven pipeline plugin that is why we are using with maven and providing the maven version if i don't provide this maven will not be recognized uh, when the build is run okay so this is how you create a pipeline using the jenkins file uh, that's it about this video so if you like my channel go ahead and uh, like it if you want to see more videos go ahead and subscribe um, meet you again in the next video until then thank you